we basically knew nothing about open source when we started, and along the way we learned. So I wanted to learn some of the some of the thing, share with some of the things we learned. Um, the first thing we learned is that no is temporary, but yes is forever. And I think those who raised their hands just before maybe have a sense of this already. But basically, whenever you're being asked to add something or make a significant design decision and you're not sure, then really in doubt you should say no. Because once you say yes, you can never, never take that back. And a lot of times you'll rationalize it. You'll say, oh, I'll just add this feature and then later I'll remove it. But no, you really won't. Uh, it's going to stay there forever and haunt you. So in doubt, just say no. Uh, and really, that's a rule of software. It's not a rule of open source. But the thing with open source is that you're under a lot of pressure to make those decisions at a very rapid pace, right? For us, it's about 1,200 times a month. Uh, and there are pitchforks, right? Because people send patches, and then they're really upset sometimes when you don't merge them. Uh, but my advice is resist that pressure. And maybe I'm, maybe I'm uh, saying the obvious here. Um, the second thing we learned is that um, open source is really, really great for challengers. If you're a small team, if you're doing something, um, if you're, let's say, punching above your weight in any way, uh, open source is really great because it levels the playing field. Basically, it gives you uh, access to an enormous pool of expertise at a really large scale so that you can focus on solving whatever problem you're trying to solve and pretend you have this enormous R&D department to back you up. And so that really allows small teams, whether it's a startup uh, or a hobby project, to, to, um, to really compete with much larger organizations, which is really a good thing for everybody. Uh, and the key here is, that, is to know what open source can give you and what it cannot. Um, in this metaphor of David and Goliath, open source is a slingshot, right? It gives you an additional strength and thrust, but you still got to figure out what to do with it. It's not going to magically make you, your product um, great. It's not going to magically uh, help you figure out what problem to solve and, and, and how to explain to users how to use it. But um, if you have that insight, if you have that, if you have that specific focus, then it will really multiply it. And we use that a lot. 